When we talk about video game horror, rarely do we talk about the famous Italian maestro Dario Argento. Now, of course, horror video games have tons of references to horror movies, and I was actually shocked to find some in a game for Mr. Argento. The game is Clock Tower from 1995 on the Super Famicom, which is the Japanese version of the Super Nintendo. Clock Tower is a survival horror game done in the point-and-click style of gameplay. The story for this game follows Jennifer, yes, named after Jennifer from Phenomenon, and dressed and looks just like her, who is an orphan who gets adopted by the Barrows family along with some other girls. The setting is a sprawling mansion that is soaked in mystery called Clock Tower, as its main feature is, you guessed it, a giant clock tower. The girls are brought in by Miss Mary and then left alone as Mary goes off to locate Mr. Simon Barrows. After the girls feel like it's been an oddly long time of waiting, Jennifer decides she would go see what's going on. As she leaves the room, she hears a scream from behind her, runs back to the room to see the lights are off and the girls are missing. She leaves the room again only to find one of the girls is dead, now falling through a glass ceiling that looks surprisingly like Suspiria. Of course, there is no rope and it's way less violent. Now, just when the mystery is starting, we find her being stalked by a murderous little boy with a giant pair of scissors. Phenomena much? Well, yeah! The first death in the movie is by scissors, and at the end of the movie we found out that the killer is a little boy. The gameplay being based on a point and click adventure style, so it will play much slower than you were used to. But this game is all about story and atmosphere. In fact, rarely do you ever actually fight in this game as it's more about escaping the scissor man who is chasing you around the mansion. Game director Hifumi Kono has stated that he wanted to make a game that felt like an old horror movie and was greatly inspired by his favorite director, Dario Argento, and it certainly shows. Now, I don't want to go more into the game's story as to not spoil the experience for you. If you are into horror survival games, or just retro games in general, then you need to check this game out. It has never been officially released outside of Japan, but fan translated ROMs are out there if you know where to look. So thank you for joining me, and I'll leave saying this. The one thing this game is missing is a monkey. Bring on the monkey!